welcome back to my channel today i wanted to film a getting my life together vlog i actually filmed this last weekend but um or maybe two weekends ago but i was in a slump for about a month and it was a combination of burnout and then just like a depressive episode so this morning i finally felt mentally ready to get some things done. I hadn't really worked out per se in about three weeks I think at this point and I had been ordering out on all my food, hadn't gotten groceries, not really cleaned. I just was really down in the dumps. So this morning I got up and I made myself a coffee to get started because caffeine really is a good motivator. It's also just fun on the weekends for me to take the time to make a coffee or a matcha. Honestly, it's just fun to do things that like are ritualistic in the morning and especially when you have time for it. And I'm honestly way more motivated whenever the sun is actually out and the sun was out and really beautiful this morning. I mixed up my greens as well. I recently got sent these from Suja. This is not sponsored, but I really like their green juices from Target. So when they sent me these, I was really excited because I trust their brand. Um, so I used the French press to do my coffee this morning. I just used the Emma Chamberlain coffee grounds. I got this huge caramel syrup for my coffee from TJ Maxx the other day for I think it was like $4. and it is gonna last me a very long time i also have been using cashew milk recently for my coffee i get it from target i really really like it it's super creamy it's not quite as good as oat milk but it is much healthier so i prefer it i do miss oat milk though i might get oat milk still just to do both honestly this coffee pour is so pretty i love like a good coffee pour little video um, so now I used half and half to make some cold foam. It just frosts up much better than non-dairy milk. But back to what we were talking about before. So I have been suffering from burnout. I recently cut back a little bit on filming content. I have been trying so hard to get this podcast up. I'm starting a podcast and I filmed the first episode, but... I'm not even quite sure if it's going to be worthy of posting because the sound quality isn't the best. I don't really know anything about recording a podcast, but yeah, anyways, for breakfast this day, I have been loving these sourdough English muffin slices and then I usually just put strawberry cream cheese or regular cream cheese or some jam on them. So good. Um, so today I did strawberry preserves. These are probably not the best, um, because they're just the Smucker's brand. I typically get the one from Trader Joe's, but anyways, I just wanted to make this because I feel like these type of videos really motivate me whenever I'm suffering from burnout and I'm very unmotivated and just feeling down and just don't really know where to start with getting my life back together. Also, I don't know if anyone knows this, but my friend who's super into plants and things told me you can put your coffee grounds into your plant soil and it helps give them extra nutrients. And so I have been doing that just because I already have coffee grounds anyways. And then I got that sprayer from Amazon and it's so fun to spray the plants every day. And I just took some time to eat. And then recently I've been loving morning showers I still take night showers, but morning showers have been really helping me want to start my day. My main problem is when I first wake up, all I can think about is how I want to go back to sleep or how I just don't want to work that day, I don't want to get up, I don't want to be a functioning member of society. But I notice once I shower and do my skincare, I then feel much better it's i feel much more excited i feel like it regulates my nervous system a lot and also i just feel so fresh and clean 
Um, also, I've been loving this body butter from Kapari. It smells so good. Um, I'm already lower than this on the amount left in it. There's probably like half of it left now, but it smells like a perfume. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works. Um, also this robe everyone asks me about. It's from Ulta. It was a free gift and they don't sell it. Um, so I can't link it. Unfortunately, I do need to find a dupe because everyone loves it and I do too. Um, so yeah, brushing my teeth and using mouthwash is super helpful in the morning as well. I really like feeling completely clean before I start my day. It has, it really gives me that boost to want to be a part of society, although society is not the best. I use the Glossier face wash and um, then after that I follow it with the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This stuff I feel like has been really helping with the hydration in my skin. I think I have dehydrated skin. Um, and then the Naturium SPF moisturizer, super nice. I was using a moisturizer and then an SPF after and that was just a lot more work and I felt greasier so having it in the moisturizer is much better. Also I really just have to make my bed every morning. It helps my room feel cleaner and it helps me feel like I did something so I always make my bed. I don't know if I could ever go back to not making my bed because this is something just makes me so happy and once it's done I know that when I come home and my bed looks like put together I'm gonna feel like so much happier so I always just straighten it out I'm one of those people that doesn't like move the bed around a lot when I sleep which is so easy to make the bed the next day but my boyfriend he kind of does mess up the bed and he moves around a lot but Anyway, so it doesn't take me but maybe five minutes to do and I recently heard this thing called the two minute rule where if basically you think of something you need to get done, if it takes you about two minutes or less, you might as well just get up and do it and get it done because it's better than letting it pile up obviously, but it's easier for you to wrap your mind around getting something done that only takes two minutes. So I read my Kindle for a little bit and then I started getting groceries in the cart um, and then I put on a comfy outfit and I decided to do my Sunday reset so I unmade the bed but I honestly do this every Sunday even though I know I'm gonna be washing the sheets I still make the bed because I can't stand when it is a big lump of covers so I love washing the sheets on Sunday and vacuuming and just washing everything so that I have a reset a clean start for the week to come um so yeah this is me vacuuming the room the carpet gets so gross throughout the week um so vacuuming on sunday is essential i really want a shark vacuum or a dyson just a cordless one in general this is a shark but and it's great but it is corded so it's kind of a hassle to get it out because it's big and bulky and I just tell myself if it was cordless I would vacuum every day. Next I decided since I was already kind of gross from cleaning it'd be a good time to work out. So I have been doing this workout at home on leg days. It is just basically squats with the weights, just one weight and then deadlifts with the both of the weights and they're both 20 pounds. So I mean it gives you a good burn. I just do three sets, 10 reps of each, alternating, and then yeah, I put back on my little sweater, and it is hair wash day every Sunday, especially after all of that, I feel disgusting, so this is my recent hair wash routine. I did switch out the oil this week for the Kitsch one, which is in my Amazon, but this is the Myel one, and it has rosemary and biotin as well, so... I just use my wet brush to brush out my hair, it's a little bit tangly and it honestly doesn't look very dirty on camera but it always is, I think that's just the blonde but I start by putting the oil throughout my roots and I try to get all of my scalp. I feel like this helps a lot with detoxing my scalp from product buildup, from sweat, 
oil and then it just also prevents like dry skin and flakiness and then it supposedly pr promotes hair growth so then I massage that through with my little massager from Amazon everything is in my hair care list but I'm also gonna link it in the bio just to make it easier and I'll put it in order of how I use it after that is coated all throughout my scalp I coat the length of my hair in water and then brush it through just to get it all damp and even my hair is super tangly the second it gets wet it starts tangling up even if I just brushed it right before doing so that's just how it is and it was like that before I bleached it but now it's gotten worse so even with the wet brush it's still not the best I'm sorry this is the tangle teaser not the wet brush but anyways I just coat my hair so that I can put the deep conditioner in it and then put my hair up for about 20 to 30 minutes so that it soaks in everything into my scalp into the ends into the roots everywhere just so that it'll really be in my hair because if I do this step in between washing it is not gonna stay in as long because I get impatient when my hair is wet I also added some of the rosemary oil to the deep conditioner because I saw you can put it in the lengths of your hair and then I just coat it in a thick layer. This step has honestly helped my hair so much whereas before and I did it in the shower it wasn't is it wasn't as moisturized so I really recommend doing it before you get in the shower and just clipping it out of your face and doing some random tasks and it's also a good time to habit stack habit stacking is basically whenever you have one thing you need to get done and you do another at the same time it's basically just multitasking so for me typically i'll either cook or do laundry while i have this in or some sort of cleaning just because i know i'm going to shower so it's the perfect time to get done any dirty work um, so I just clipped it up and then I had to make myself a protein smoothie since I did lift some weights. I like to have protein right after. This was just banana and some berries with cashew milk. And then I love the women's best vegan protein and vanilla. And then I got these cute little pink silicone straws, which I love. How beautiful is that? It looks like a tropical vacation, but I'm still at home. I finally switched the sheets to the dryers, so that's usually when I'm nearing the end of my Sunday reset because I get everything done in between the sheets being in the wash and the dryer. Um, and then after that, I decided that it was time to wash out my hair. So I used the detox shampoo from Whey and then I just used the Whey um, body scrub and then I used the... Um, Olaplex conditioner. When I got out, I put in some leave-in conditioner from Way. I love this leave-in product. I use it on my hair dry sometimes when it's frizzy. And then the hair oil from Way smells amazing. I ended up getting the corresponding perfume and I'm going to save it for our trip to Paris this May. But I like to coat my whole head of hair in this product not only for the scent, but because it helps me when I need to blow dry and brush it out later. And then I've been using these, um, I forget what they're called. They're like hair towels, but they're better for your hair cuticle. They don't rough it up as much as a regular towel. And it's nice because it helps soak up the water better. And you can just clip it on your head and leave it on for a bit while you get some other things done. So yeah, it's. I think it's called a hair turban, but yeah. So I got that on and my groceries finally came. I decided against Target because Aldi's was having a sale on Instacart, I believe, where I think I got 20% off if I spent $40. So that's what I did. Um, my boyfriend was going to be gone for the week for a work trip. So I really didn't need to get that many groceries. So I was, I think I only spent about $40 just on myself this day. And I'm going to give you a little grocery haul after I unload it all, but I basically just got some things to keep me held over for the week. I'm not a big cook on work days. I used to be, but now that I do content creation as well, I'm just so busy. I don't have as much time to put the love and care into meals as before. 
which is why it would be really nice if I could go hybrid at work or part-time because that is why I'm suffering from burnout just trying to keep up with both jobs but yeah I also like to get flowers recently now that it's spring but they sent me the wrong ones I had ordered pink roses they must have been out I like getting ground turkey and using taco seasoning for that this is the Starbucks iced coffee typically I use the Chobani but this is what they had and it's good and then I got two limes, some spinach, um, pico, which is just diced tomatoes and green chilies and lime juice, raspberries, since they didn't have strawberries, mini avocados, I love having avocados um, just on hand at all times, and then black beans, and then I got sweet corn, so basically I made a burrito bowl this week, which I have the recipe on my Instagram, so I'll link that. And then I got some brown rice and blue corn chips. And then this is just a cute little section of me setting up the flowers, even though they are already halfway dead. Um, they're still nice. I just like having fresh flowers in the room. It gives me some life, you know? Anything that can bring you some life into your mundane is so helpful so fresh flowers either a coffee or a matcha reading all of those things music podcasts these things bring me so much joy and help me really get through the daily life that is so exhausting also pro tip i'm pretty sure everyone knows this but cut your flower stems at an angle before you stick them in the water that helps them to be able to get the water up easier and they stay alive better. So I just cut them down and then test them by sticking them in the vase to see if they're at a good enough height for me. And then I dropped the flower food into the water, which was not intentional. And then you just got to stir it up and put the flowers in. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this. I honestly wish these flowers were much prettier for this clip, but... They are from Aldi, so you know, the selection isn't the best. Trader Joe's has the best flowers though. Everyone knows this already, but if you don't, go to Trader Joe's for all your flowers. They're such a good price. So this is the after. They look pretty cute. Um, and then after that, I finally blow dried my hair. I've been loving the shark flex style for doing my hair. It's so nice. Gives you a cute little blowout and it's fun to do. And then my sheets, they're finally out of the dryer and washer, so I honestly need to buy another set because I literally use the same set, but I am budget, I'm a budgeter, like I want everything to be as affordable as I can, so if this sheet set can be washed and used over and over, I won't buy a second one, but I'm thinking of buying a second one just to make my life a little bit easier. Also, this blanket I got as a gift from my sister-in-law and my brother for my birthday. It is my favorite. It is a chenille, like, waffle knit blanket from Better Homes and Gardens. Um, and then this fur blanket is so old. It's from Pier 1 Imports, which I don't even know if, if that's a thing anymore. But anyways, I love when my sheets are all clean. The bed is so much more fluffy and inviting. Sleeping in the sh clean sheets after a long day is the best feeling and I feel like I do get a better sleep this way so when I wake up in the morning I am much more ready to start the day. I need to get new pillows though because my pillows are all so flat. I mean look at them. I am using six pillows a night pretty much. So if anyone has good recommendations for some pillows please leave them in the comments because that's one of those things where you have to get a good pillow or it is going to affect your life like poorly if you get a bad one. Um, so yep, that's the bed for now. I decided to do a little bit of self-care. Not only did I deserve it after this day, but I really needed it because when I go through stressful times, my skin really reflects that. So I got the Macho Almond Milk Mask from Whole Foods, the Lip Mask from Target, and then the Pixie Under Eye Mask which are also from Target, but they are in my Amazon as well. Um, those are really nice. They give my eyes such a good plump and a boost, which I really need because my under eye circles are hereditary and they're very bad. So this is just me putting them on my eyes. Um, if anyone else does face masks like this in layers, it is so fun. I feel like I am at a little mini spa 
and I recently bought this silicone face mask. I think it's silicone. It may just be rubber. Are those the same thing? I don't know, but it holds your face mask on for you so that you can walk around and do other things. This lip mask is so cute. It has little kisses on it, but I literally cannot do anything while I have it on. Um, and then here is my favorite one. I love these juice masks from Whole Foods. They are so hydrating and they're very, um, like they are thick. They are covered in juice. It feels like aloe vera is on the mask. So they're kind of hard to open, but they're so hydrating and they're honestly just so cute. They have so many different ones. I used the strawberry one in my previous vlog and then this is the matcha one, which I am obsessed with matcha right now. Anything matcha is just so appealing to me. So this is the matcha face mask. These never fit my face very well though. So that's kind of annoying. I wish they would come in sizes because my face is always way too small for these. But yeah, anyways, so after I put all of this on, I use the face mask holder to just keep it stuck to my face. And it's so cute because it's pink, but it's also kind of scary because I look like a like horror movie. I got told on TikTok that I look like Jason, so yeah, there's that, but I think it's cute. <laughs> and then, you know, everything's pink. So this is the after I, you know, fresh blowout, got myself care on all my face masks. So I was feeling so much better. This is my vitamin lineup. So I take these every day. This is my advanced dual probiotics, which is for my um, stomach. And then these are prebiotics and probiotics with cranberry. This is for, I think, just your bladder. And then this is my multivitamin. I love the Ollie vitamins because you can get them in gummy form. And I struggle so much with swallowing pills ever since my thyroid surgery. I um, have a traumatized vocal cord and just swallowing in general is very hard for me. So sometimes I choke. So having the chewable vitamins is so much better. And then this is the extra strength elderberry immune support. Elderberry is a natural supplement that is so good for immune system and then fish oil these are ginormous and they're kind of hard to swallow but anyways um these are so good for so many things for brain function for your skin because omega-3s are just amazing for you i think everyone probably needs to be taking these i also think it's better to just eat salmon and things like that but i take them just because it's easier to take these every day than to incorporate it into meals every day. Also, Hatch sent me their Restore alarm clock and I'm obsessed. It looks so good. And then my candle warmer is so nice. It's in my Amazon. I've been loving my nightstand setup. It's super romanticized and it makes me so happy. Also, these flowers were from Flower Play by Kimberly on Instagram. And they have been lasting so long, I just take out the dead ones as they die. And then that is my Kindle Reader, the case I decorated myself. Everyone asks me where I got the case from, but I have all the products I used in my Amazon. Then I'm just going to read the switch and go to bed.